So here's this um, rabbit pot after the firing, and I'm going to show you a few things here that I uh, talked about earlier. Here's the terracigelata with no glaze. So that uh, I like this contrast with the, with the uh, color of this and then the glazed pot. And like I mentioned earlier, I had um, clear glazed the rabbit and then waxed over it. And then you can see I did go ahead and do some dots of color. This is copper. This is cobalt, which went on too thick, and so it's a, it's way too dark. I can wash that down. I can thin that cobalt out, and um, and it would be blue. I think that's cobalt. I might have got that mixed up. But anyway, um, I have some tests I'll show you. And then I did have a little bit of a problem here, and that was my own fault from um, when I was trying to... Oh, and then I dipped the pot in the amber, and then the wax resist. Um, when I was trying to clean up a little bit of the wax resist... I accidentally brushed a little bit of the amber off there around the rabbit so I could be more careful and not have that problem. So anyway, this is a uh, these are some new ideas that uh, this pot is really not one of a pot that I would say is necessarily my pot. This is sort of a, a pot that I made kind of copying that French potter as far as the shape and, and everything but you know um, it was it was a jumping off place. So uh, anyway, I think I can work on some of these ideas, and I want to show you my tests. These are my um, tests: two different ambers, one with four percent iron, black iron, one with two percent black iron, and this is just the glaze by itself. This is with some uh, cobalt oxide underneath, or yeah, underneath the glaze, and you can see this was a little thinner. And then I think the extra iron. Um, in here darkens this cobalt up a bit. Be interesting to see what happens if I put the cobalt on top. Uh, copper here, black iron here, which is quite dark and brown. Red iron oxide here, which is uh, practically brown. So um, I like this blue and green, and um, I do need to also test a couple more oxides, manganese, and um, uh, maybe some green copper oxide. Or is it black copper oxide? Black copper oxide? Anyway, I'll have to look and see what I got. And then this, uh, these two are just the same base, but instead of using black iron oxide as my, as my colorant, I used red iron oxide. So this is the red iron oxide, this is the black iron oxide. So they're very similar. Um, as far as this, this play, playing with this color goes, I was, uh, I finally got around to getting this book, this slipware book by uh, Victoria and Michael Eden. And this book's been out for, um, I guess, at least 10 years, maybe longer. And I, and I ordered it last week and it came. And I was, um, I guess I was quite surprised to see how many potters actually use these oxides and, and do this sort of decoration. I knew, I knew some that did, but um, it seems to be quite... Uh, quite popular in slipware and I guess I just didn't realize it. I've been so busy in my carving with just the white slip and the red clay that I've sort of ignored um, color in many ways and plus I'm sort of terrified of color so um, I think this is more of a slip here. But, um, but anyway so it was neat to look at this book and just see uh, how much of this is actually been done in the past. Of course, it's been around for ages, and um, and so it sort of uh, gives me a little. Uh, what's the word? It it gives me a little. Makes me not want to do it quite so much. Just I, I don't know. You know, it's kind of a funny thing. You, you get excited, or I get excited about something, and then I see how much of it's already out there, and I want to do something different. And so it's just a funny thing that I have going on where. Um, I'm always wanting to do something different, but I'm also sort of wanting to fit in too. And it's just this weird dynamic that I have. And um, anyway, so just just you know struggles of, of every day and and uh, being a being a potter. But anyway, all these dishes came out great. I'll have a photo of all these up later. And I had a few more pots in here. But um, but anyway, this is getting a little long, so I'll wrap it up. And uh, just wanted to show you that that bottle and show you these tests. Alright, thanks for uh, watching and um, we'll see what happens next.